I am in the oh-so-famous awkward length phase and I think it is one of the most crucial points of the natural hair journey. This is the point where you can make or break your natural hair goals, especially if length is the priority. So I know that this has been in the last three times I've gone natural, this is my third time, but the two times I've gone natural, the point that my journey fell off was the awkward length phase. And if you don't know what the awkward length phase is, it's really a period of time where your hair is not short enough to be called a TWA or teeny weeny afro, neither is it long enough for more styling options. So you're really stuck in limbo and it is the most uncomfortable part of the journey. So I wanted to share with you guys because what makes this journey so much different than the other two I've gone on is that the Lord led me to cut my hair back in 2020 and though it took me half the year to do that i eventually cut all my hair off i feel like i've been able to see more progress in this round of going natural because he's been a part of it all this video is not intended to ostracize anybody who is not a christian or not a follower of christ this is where my heart is in the journey and i believe as long as i keep god our Lord Jesus Christ in the midst of this natural hair journey, I will get to my goal. So I felt inspired to share with you five Bible verses that to me invoke a particular type of practice and outlook when you are in this awkward length. Awkward phases have a way of sabotaging your success and that's because you feel that you need to rush ahead and you feel like every, oh, everyone else is moving along. So what is it that I need to do to get where they are? And often it's birthed from a place of discontentment. So I'm gonna share with you five principles that I believe are going to help us get through this awkward phase. So let's start with number one. First one is embracing your natural beauty. This principle, we're gonna use Genesis 127, and here's what it says. obviously as my hair is it is the most beautiful it will ever be for right now right even though I'm not wearing it out right now but it's in a protective style you guys my natural beauty is divinely ordained designed and created by the wonderful master creator of the entire universe and everything in it seen and unseen and what a privilege what a blessing what an incredible fact of life that the way I look was the total conception of God. And so this encourages me to embrace my natural hair at every stage because every stage is beautiful. Every stage has its ups, its downs, but most of all, its gifts and the gifts that keep on adding to life and adding to who I am as God would have it. Let's talk about principle number two. <sighs> A good one, practice patience and perseverance and this is found in Galatians chapter 6 verse 9 I believe when you're in the awkward phase it, this is where you feel the discouragement even more because you're just like when I can see my hair every day and I don't see the progress I don't see the movement the length the anything it can get very <sighs> disappointing sometimes and I believe that God has used my natural hair to teach me about patience and perseverance because the longer you wait for something not just waiting but how you wait on something the more beautiful the destination is going to be and that's why it is important to exercise gratitude and to reflect on where you've come from look at the progress you've made thus far because if I had grown weary and and stopped doing the good work which is taking care of my hair let's say two years ago I wouldn't be here today so you know good our good works especially when it's done in patience and perseverance are going to be rewarded in fact the scripture says that the race isn't given to the swift nor to the strong but to he that endures till the end and endurance is a big deal to God because it shows that you are committed to the end no matter what obstacles come your way and that is part of this awkward phase I must be committed through the awkward phase because I know that at the end I will reap the reward and that reward is gonna be my long luscious locks <laughs> so God affirms us that 
He does not ignore the work that we put into what it is he's calling us to do. He doesn't ignore the hard work, the labor, the pain, the crying, the tears, the blood, the sweat. He doesn't ignore it, but he, he pays attention to it. And in time, especially when you believe he's God and he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him, you will be rewarded. So praise the Lord. All right, let's talk about principle number three. Caring for your body is caring for your hair. And here's the scripture for that found in 1 Corinthians chapter 6 verse 19 through 20. Now this speaks of the body being the temple of the Holy Spirit. And where this idea or where it comes from really is the Old Covenant, the Old Testament where God had a temple and he was in that temple, but he had types of maintenance and care cares and rules and things that the priesthood needed to look after to take care of the temple of God because that's where his presence was. There needed to be the one priest to go into the holies of holies once a year. There needed to be people in the temple taking care of the altar of incense and the showbread and, and doing all that different types of animal sacrifices around that time. So there was a care, a system to taking care of the temple of God and it's no different for us today. We, our bodies are the temple of the Holy Spirit and by taking Taking care of my body, but also taking care of my hair is an act of faith and an act of stewardship. And God rewards again those of us who take care of the things that He's given us. And my hair is a blessing. You know, I don't know in the future if I will have a disorder where I lose all my hair. So I want to take care of it for what it is to me right now and also take care of my body. So make sure I'm maintaining a proper diet, make sure that I'm doing proper hair care practices and avoiding anything that's going to be damaging to my success and to my growth. So it is an honor to the temple of God and it is an honor that the Holy Spirit is dwelling inside of me during this awkward phase. So that helps us to keep our eyes focused on what truly matters so that's great right all right let's talk about number four depend on God and the scripture for this is found in Philippians 4 verse 6 through 7 what I believe has made this natural hair journey cycle much different than the other two is that I have involved God in the process. So anytime I grow weary or concerned about something, I will go to him about it. If long hair has been a concern for you, you go to him about it. And it has been for me in the past. And so I've overcome that. Now I'm enjoying my natural hair journey. A concern of mine currently is that I'm in the awkward phase and I know and we talked about this on this on this channel before about the mindsets that can hinder your progress and so I know that I have a proclivity or a propensity actually to to go backwards or to self-sabotage or because I'm in a place or I'm frustrated or I'm emotional or I'm I'm stressed out I have a tendency to attack my hair I don't know why but a lot of women do I don't know what that's about but our hair is our glory and I think when you're in a unglorious state it's like I just you know but I don't know how much there is to that but I know myself and I know that without him my weaknesses will overcome me so I will go to him and depend on like God I'm supposed to keep this protective style in for like two months but I'm really itching to do a twist style or I'm really itching to do a wash and go and so it's so good for me to go to him and depend on him to carry me through not just the awkward phase but every phase of life but we're just talking about all of our faith. So this is where it becomes so beneficial in having a transparent, intimate walk with our Lord because he will give you exactly what you need to get through it. So depend on God and that's gonna get you through this phase. And lastly, my fifth principle, community, care, and encouragement. And here's the scripture for that found in Hebrews chapter 10, 24 through 25. Now, if there's any community that embodies this really well, it's you guys. The Coily Companions have encouraged me, has come by my side, has talked me off of a ledge <laughs> where I did not envision this channel becoming a community for me. Now, granted, I love when you guys talk and engage with each other, that's fine, but when you guys encourage me, you, I cannot tell you what a source of push and motivation and determination it gives me. What you guys do is provoke love in me to my hair. For example, in the last video about my wash and go that I've done after six months, 
two of you mentioned that my hair has gotten longer and my sister has mentioned it to me as well. So as you can imagine, me, myself, I didn't think my hair was getting anywhere. I kid you not, you guys, I really think my hair is the same length that it was at the beginning of the year. And, and both of you actually suggested that I do a montage just so that I'm able to see the progress for myself. In the past, when I've been in that rut where I felt stuck and I felt like I wasn't moving and my hair was in the exact same length it was at the start of the year, I end up sabotaging. I was like, you know what, I'm going to do whatever I want with it. I'm going to straighten it. I'm going to perm it. I'm going to relax it. I really was just sabotaged because I felt like, you know what, it doesn't matter what I'm doing. My hair's not growing. It must be genetics. It must be something. So when you have people that are able to look on the inside and say, hey, Shar, your hair is actually growing long. Keep doing what you're doing. You're doing a good job. That keeps me so focused and, it, and it, it encourages me. So community is very important. It's good to have people around you that can see the progress you're making because we're hard on ourselves. I think we're overly critical and as women, especially, I can imagine most of you ladies probably deal with this, but you're overcritical of yourself and it, it makes you sabotage. So that's why I believe I've gotten as far because God has blessed me with many of you who have been able to speak good things to me and encourage me and give me the the cues and signs like you're on the right track right you're you're like billboard signs or street signs that's telling me you're going the right way and you guys have kept me off of the ledge <laughs> so even back when I remember the setback how many of you were on here at that time that I posted that picture and you all were like I believe in you you can come up your creativity you can come up with something like you guys don't know that pushed me so much and it's wonderful and I find that when you're doing something not just for yourself but you know other people are also invested in the journey you feel like there's so much more to fight for even when it gets awkward <laughs> thank you guys so much above all for being subscribers to my channel I don't see you guys just as subscribers I see you as friends I see you as long distance pals and pen pals and things like that you're always writing me little letters in the comments and it touches my heart every time so thank you again for being here for subscribing and don't forget to like share and leave any thoughts you have below and I look forward to seeing you all in the next video God bless you and I'll see you in the next one bye Thank you.